In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed us and claimed many lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts and healthcare personnel that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today, is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our priest presider is the Reverend Father Mario Sobre Juanite of the Society of St. Paul and a spiritual director of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Let us join the Acts Music Minstrels in singing the entrance hymn. Once again, we come as God's chosen people to celebrate this Mass in thanksgiving for the great wonders the Lord has done for us. With grateful hearts, we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. What we are doing is called a banquet. A banquet that actually is a foretaste, patikim, of a real wedding banquet, which the Lord has prepared for us in heaven. My brothers and sisters, the choice is made now, and we'll have to be constantly rechosen. Constantly, we must prepare for the time when we will be called to be with Him for all eternity. Sa mga pagkakataon, God did not become our priority. Sa mga pagkakataon, we delayed in preparing for that moment of great encounter with Him, who is our God. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Peace. 
pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us, from us all adversity, so that unhind unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God shares wisdom with all who seek and are ready for it. God's wisdom is personified as a woman who is found by those who love her. The first reading. A reading from the book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom. And she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom, is the perfection of prudence. And whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care. Because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parts lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. I will remember you upon my coach, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help. And in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Paul comforts those who mourn the dead with the thought of the future resurrection. The living, likewise, will be caught up them in glory when Jesus comes at the end of the AIDS, the second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, I tell you this, on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, 
will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with them. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you neither, you know, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the parable of today, Jesus gives us a slice of village life. Alam niyo naman ang style ng Panginoon pag gumagawa siya ng parable. It is something that the people who were listening to him in his time would understand because these are experiences they have gone through, things they have touched, things they know, things they even have tested, things they were doing. And so today Jesus speaks of something that was beautiful for everyone in the village, the wedding feast. Pero bibigyan ko kayo ng konti kasi naiiba yung kanilang pagdiriwang ng isang wedding. Before the celebration itself, the bride and the groom choose ten bridesmaids. They have a huge responsibility and to be chosen as a bridesmaid means a great privilege because you will be enjoying the festivities of this couple. Ang kasal sa kanila ay piyesta ng buong sambayanan. Ang kasal para sa kanila is a huge break from their monotonous life because that would mean dancing, revelry, eating, festivities. Talagang saya ang sino mang magiging kasama sa celebration na ito. Ano hubang ginagawa? Siyempre yung bride and groom are firstly betrothed. Ipinapangako ang bawat isa sa isa. So pagkatapos niyan, hindi mo na sila magsasama. Kasi ang groom will have to prepare the place kung saan silang dalawa ay magkakasama bilang mag-asawa. And then on the day of the wedding, ang groom susunduin sa bahay ng mga magulang 
yung girl, sa mga magulang ng girl, at iuuwi niya doon sa kanyang at sa kanila ng magiging bahay. That's the way they do it. Kailang ganito. Pag ito'y ginaw, gagawin na, yung sampung bridesmaid, dito ito'y tinatawag the virgins, malaki ang role nila. Sapagat sila ang maglaal, magsisindi ng lampara, lampada, o, o, o yung, yung lamps, no? Sisindihan nila yon and they will proceed. They will first welcome the groom pag ito'y dumadating na. And they will also be the ones leading the procession papunta sa bagong bahay ng mag-asawa. At maganda pa nga ito. Iikot yan kung pwedeng ikuutin na lahat ng sulok ng buong village so that the couple will be greeted on the day of their festivity. And hindi lang yan. Pagdating doon sa bahay, you know, hindi aalis para sa wedding honeymoon yung mag-asawa. They will stay there for one week. It depends. Pero every day, is going to be a feast. They will be treated as king and queen during those times and the ten bridesmaids will be part of this great celebration. May requirement lang yung mga bridesmaids. Kasi sa araw ng pagdating ng groom, walang nakakaalam kung kailan siya darating. Kaya ang may kwento, ang isang expert, ang sabi niya, just to tell you how it is, One time pumunta siya sa isang bayan sa Palestine, sa Israel, at may nakita niya may sumasayaw in front uh, uh, of the bridesmaid. So ang sabi niya, Uy, ten bridesmaid, may kasal. Uy, join tayo. Ang sagot sa kanya ng kanyang tourist guide, hindi ho pwede. Bakit? Hindi natin alam kung, darating, kung kailan darating ang bridegroom eh. Yun ang problema. Nobody knows when the bridegroom will be ready. It is for this reason that the ten bridesmaids have to be constantly ready. And one most important thing, sisiguraduhin nila sapagat napakalaking kahihiyan na sila'y magpuprosesyon na ang mga lampara na itong bridesmaids ay hindi nakasindi. At pag ito'y isinara na, they will, the, 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 pag isinara na yung, yung bahay, they will miss the festivity for which they have been privileged sana to join. My dear friends, ano ang punto ng ating gospel reading ngayon? Simply po, unpreparedness. Pinili ka na nga eh. Chosen ka na nga to join in this great wedding celebration. And all you needed to do is just be prepared. Alam mo, may nag-comment din na isang expert ang sabi niya. Pareho naman yung five in five, the foolish virgins and the, 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 the wise virgins, they were both of them ready for the coming of the groom. The foolish virgins or the foolish bridesmaids were not ready for his delay. Yun ang hindi nila inasahan. Kaya ang kaibahan ng dalawang itong grupo is foresight. You never know when he will come. You have to anticipate that he could be delayed. And therefore, the only way to be prepared is to be constantly prepared. My dear friends, ang mga bridesmaids who were wise They had a reason to refuse the foolish, not because they were not generous or selfish sila, hindi. Because alam nila na pag nagkaubusan, pati sila mapapahiya at pati sila baka hindi papasukin into the house of the groom and the bride. Sa buhay ng tao, preparedness is part of our lives. When you want something big to happen, you prepare for it. Hindi ba? Pag ikay magpapa-interview para sa isang trabaho, hindi lamang na nagbibihis ka ng maayos, presentable, kundi na nagpipiper ka sa pwedeng isagot sa mga tanong na ibibigay sa iyo. Preparedness. Hindi ba ang isang studyante to make sure na ikay na may pumasa, hindi naman po pwedeng ang mabilisang paghahanda. It's a long preparation to be able to answer well the questions that will be demanded of you. Ang nagpapakasal, ganun din, di ba? Hindi naman po pwedeng isang linggo lang kayo nagkita. 
Nagmahal na na kayo, Tredy. Pagpapakasal na kaagad kayo. It's a long preparation. May mga pre na na tinatawag getting to know each other kung kayo na nga ba at handa niyong pananagutan ang responsibilidad bilang mag-asawa at bilang magiging magulang ng inyong mga anak. One of the great disasters of our lives is to take for granted things, not to have foresight. And then when the moment comes, we will be found unprepared. There is a need of a constant vigilance, a certain alertness, a certain status of knowing He will come at any moment. Ang sinasabing oil ng mga virgins, maraming description sa mga expert. It could mean daily working faithfully for the Lord, daily generosity to those who are in need, daily obeying the commands and the teachings of Jesus, daily growing in discipleship. Bakit, mga kapatid? Sabagat may mga bagay na hindi pwedeng mabilisang ihanda. There are some things you cannot just do at a single moment. There are things that cannot be obtained at the last moment. Ang skill, ang character, ang knowledge. Ito ho'y mahabaan. Pwedeng sabing habang buhay na paghahanda. I've always said this in the past. Diba? Be very careful with what you think. They can become your words. Be very careful with your words. They can become your actions. Be very careful with your actions. They can become your habit. Be very careful with your habit. They can become your character. Be very careful with your character. It can determine your destiny. Hindi naman yung nag-uumpisa. It's a daily choice. Kanina nga sa introduction sinabi ko that we must daily re Choose. Eto gusto ko. Etong mahalaga sa akin. Paghahandaan ko. Mga kapatid, pangalawa, there are certain things na hindi naman pwedeng hiramin. Katulad ng gusto ng mga virgins. A relationship is something you establish for a long time. Attitudes is something you develop by constantly being correct in what you do. The ways of doing things are something habits that do not just begin at the moment. It is something that naturally comes to you. Kaya kung ang mahalaga sa iyo ay buhay na walang hanggan, then you would have understood what our blessed Carlo Acutis, 15 years old, kaya dito ko nabibilib eh. Ako ang tanda-tanda ko na, 65 years old na ako, but I have not fully understood what this 15-year-old has understood when he said, hindi ako takot sa kamatayan. Because I can face the Lord knowing that there was not a single minute in my life that I did something unpleasant to Him. Untakin mo yan, 15 years old. In short, all his life, his tendency was heaven. His tendency was for the things infinite. Kaya trahedya sa kahit sino man sa atin, when we are so conquered, nagkakaugaga tayo for the things that will one day pass. And then forget the things that will forever last. When we begin to forget and concentrate ourselves on things finite, when Carlo Acutis will remind us we are meant for things infinite. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, nitong mga huling araw, hindi ko alam kung alam ninyo, pero ako'y tuwan-tuwa. Alam nyo ba na pag dumating ang araw ng November 1, hanggang sa November 8, ang ating simbahan pinapayagan na bigyan ng plenary indulgence ang sinuman na pupunta sa sementeryo at magdasal para sa mga kaluluwa at para sa intensyon ng Santo Papa. Of course, remaining in the state of grace, having confessed and having received Holy Communion. One plenary indulgence. Anong ibig sabihin? Sa bawat araw na punta mo ng sementeryo, at magdasal ka, at ikaw'y nakapagkumpisal, at nakapagkuminyo. Yung confession naman, hindi araw-araw. Pwedeng, siguro dahil sa ating COVID, pwedeng one month, tayagan siguro ni Lord John, isang plenar indulgence. Anong ibig sabihin? Pag i-inapply mo sa isang kaluluwa, sa walong araw na yan, isang kaluluwa, bawat araw, 
ang iyong ililigtas sa purgatorio. So ito ho'y ginawa ko na rito sapagat tatlong sementeryo pong malapit sa amin dito at ang isa sa mga sementeryo ay punong-puno po ng aming mga brothers and sisters in the Pauline family. Sa kabila ng kakonfess ko na sa inyo, ako'y talagang takot sa sementeryo. <laughs> takot din ako sa bangkay at sa mga libingan. You know? Pero pinuwers ako sa sarili ko for the past so many years na nandito ako sa Italy na araw-araw sa mga araw na ito'y pumunta, magro-rosary po ako roon, and sometimes, I'll be honest with you, nag-iisa lang ako sa buong sementeryo. Iikot ako. Habang dinadasal ko yung rosaryo, pray na sana si Lord sa pamamagitan niyan ay may mailigtas tayo na isang kaluluwa mula sa purgatorio. Ang kagandahan po dito sa Italy, dalawang bagay. Ang bawat libingan ay may picture nung namatay. And of course, the other is kagaganda ng mga marble statues nila para ka sa mga monuments, ha? para sa mga libingan. And then the third, na notice ko rin, itong mga huling araw, kagaganda ng kanilang mga bulaklak <laughs> para nga sa mamitas o mag, mag-uwi sa, 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 sa aming community. You know? But there was one thing I noticed. As I moved around, syempre nakikita mo yung mga pictures, marami talaga mga matatanda na. Pero you will notice, kasi nakalagay din ang age, manonotice mo, 11 years old, 12 years old, 20 years old, 26, 30, prime of life. And in one strike, the Lord takes them away. When will the bridegroom arrive? We never know. When that moment comes, all we could wish is that we will be ready for His coming. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, today the Lord is telling us there is a huge wedding feast which cannot be compared to anything that is happening here on earth. This feast is going to be the feast for all eternity. And I want you to be prepared for it. Ulitin ko ang sinasabi kanina natin, foresight, preparedness, constantly knowing we are meant for things big. We just have to be prepared for it. I end with the story na minsay na i-share ko na rin. Uh, pag po yung pumunta kayo sa banda ng Como, yun po ay sa border ng Switzerland and Italy, meron pong isang napakagandang mansion doon. It's a huge mansion, but it is not just the house that is impressive. The garden. At makikita mo talaga, manicured grasses, blooming flowers, verdant trees, you'd be very, very impressed. At makikila, mahala tamo, this garden is very well cared by somebody who knows how to care for them and is doing it with passion. Kasi talaga mapapatunganga ka sa ganda. Alam mong sobrang inaalagaan. And so one day, somebody was saying that he had a chance to meet with his gardener in charge. At sinabi niya, Grabe, this is a real beautiful place. It's obvious you love this garden. It's obvious every day you're taking care of it. Tanong ngayon sa kanya, when was the last time that the owners came? Kasi alam niyang garden na lang kausap. Alam mo sagot sa kanya, two years ago. Ibig niyo pong sabihin sa kabila ng two years ago na na hindi sila pumupunta, ganito ka mag-alaga ng garden nila? Ganito ka, ha? nagsisigwardo, nadatnan ang lahat ng ito na maayos. Palagay mo kaya, kailan sila pupunta? Alam mo sagot niya, Today, what if they will not come today? Then they will come tomorrow. Pero two years na na hindi sila pumupunta. What if they will come three days later? Then the garden is going to be prepared. Anong ibig sabihin? Kapatid, for him, today is the day. And he will be prepared when the owner comes. Sa amin, sabi ni Mother Teresa, and, to, and every time I have to remind you myself of this, kayong mga pare, when you celebrate the Mass, celebrate it as if it is your first Mass. Celebrate it as if it is your last Mass. Mass, celebrated as if it is your only Mass. 
if you have this passion to one day be a part of the wedding feast of heaven and that we will not find the door closed to us and we will not be a part of this great celebration. There is only one way, daily preparedness, a constant awareness. We are not meant for this world. We are meant for the wedding feast that will last forever. Amen. And so with faith we now proclaim, I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, was under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father that as we await the glorious coming of his beloved Son, we may be filled with his wisdom in order to live out the gospel values in every moment of our lives. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church might truly become wise in their words and actions, so that their decisions may promote human flourishing especially among the poor and the marginalized, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our political and civil leaders may value the kingdom of God as the greatest treasure and think of heaven as the true home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons who have abandoned everything for the sake of the kingdom, may by their joyful living of the vows of chastity, poverty and obedience, show their brothers and sisters the primacy of God's kingdom over everything else, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who despair in life those who are burdened by weakness and sin, and those who are discouraged and pessimistic about the future, may, re may regain trust in God, who will wipe away every tear from their eyes. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Almighty Father will continue to protect our viewers, the homebound and their families, and may the good Lord, through the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother, grant all intentions and requests offered through this Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who grieve for their departed ones may be strengthened by their hope in the life hereafter, and that those who have gone ahead of us may share the joy of the heavenly banquet we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we have presented to you the needs of your people. Grant us the grace and the wisdom to constantly prepare for your coming so that we will be one day worthy of the eternal banquet of heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gifts of bread and wine, gifts of love divine, take a new this offering from open hearts and hands, broken bread, poured out wine, freely offered up in praise, in wondrous sacrifice. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made holy, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest. As your church. And so with the choirs of angels we praise you and we joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with our cardinals and bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In a special man, the Lord, we pray for all the victims of the COVID pandemia, the pandemic. We pray for those who are least remembered. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Confident that God listens to our prayers because we are all his children. Let us pray to be constantly vigilant for the day of his coming so that we will be with him forever in heaven. We pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And grace you see, grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace is the great confidence that when one day we die, there is going to be an eternal feast that will await us in heaven. However, we have to be prepared. And with God's grace, we will be found worthy. Let's share the peace of the Lord with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us together pray this prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So we pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord present in the Eucharist desires that we will long for him more 
so that we can be forever with Him in heaven. Pagdasal po natin ng lahat who are going through the difficulties of life, lalo-lalo na po dahil sa pandemic. Those who are sick, those who have sent and are asking our prayers for the beloved ones, that the Lord may grant them the gift of His peace. Lord, Father in heaven, you have promised in your Son Jesus that if we seek, we shall find. That if we knock, the door of your mercy will be open. That if we ask, we shall receive. It is with the confidence of children that we come to you today to pray for all our needs. For the healing of mind and body. For the sustenance that is needed by us as human beings. For the dignity that are lost. For all that we need as your children. Pakinggan niyo po ang aming mga dasal. At muli, aming po sana matagpuan ang iyong awa at haba. We pray not only for ourselves, but especially for those who are most needy and are losing hope that you, Father in heaven, may grant them their desire to have a life that is dignified so that one day we all can join you in the eternal banquet you have prepared for us through your Son, Jesus, with Mary, our Mother and Queen, and with all the saints and your angels. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gusto ko lang idugtong pala. The Holy Father, dahil sa pandemic na ito, has extended the privilege of gaining a plenary indulgence every day for the whole month na ng November. Hindi lang from November 1 to 8. Kaya kung magkakaroon kayo ng pagkakataon at kayo nakapunta sa sementeryo, in the next few days, o kung hindi talaga makapunta, are praying for the beloved dead before a crucifix or before the image of Our Lady, and then praying the necessary prayers for the Pope. Mga kapatid, sa buong buwan ng November, every day, isang kaluluwa ang pwede nating mailigtas. Oo. Ang mga bulaklak po palang nasa harapan natin, hindi ko po ninakaw yan sa sementeryo. O do- ang dami doon pwede. <laughs> Kaya lang ito'y kanina nag ko sa mga mother the daughters of St. Paul at talagang ninakaw ko na pinagbigyan naman akong bit-bitin para sa ating misa. We would like to thank them. We would like to thank Sister Marlene and all of the Axe members and the Mercado family who are behind what we are doing. Please, kung gusto po niyong sumuporta sa amin, the Axe are, are most uh, willing to accept your uh, help in to do to continue with this ministry and uh, gusto ko rin pong sabihin sana na uh, please tell others about this ministry umaabot na po tayo ng 18,600 plus na subscribers baka pwede pa nating maparami for now we thank the lord for this mass go in his peace thanks be to god Ingat po sa COVID, napakatindi dito sa Italy, 30 plus thousand a day ang aming mga cases. And we have members of the Poland family who have gotten very sick. So please, ingat lang po. God bless everybody. Ciao. Ci vediamo. Alla Thank prossima. Thank you, Father. Ibig sabihin sa susunod po. Discuss.